friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because I have a Owl Crate unboxing. I decided in the month of December to purchase their like limited edition winter wishes box. But then as they were like switching over their website, I accidentally ended up getting a December box too, which I was not that upset about. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the contents of the December box. The theme for December was love is a battlefield. I'm not gonna lie, that theme doesn't like overly excite me, but I'm still curious to know what's in here. The very first item that we have are these Dom and Chassier leg warmers, and they've got what I'm assuming is some kind of branding from that particular book. It says, our lives reflect our hearts, and it has, I think it in French, I don't know, I don't know this particular franchise, but I'm actually excited to have these. I am in this point now where I can't rock my Crocs everywhere because they are a little bit too cold, but it's not quite boot season yet because we don't have snow on the ground and my boots are really like meant for snow being on the ground or ice. So I've been wearing my like slip on sneakers to the gym, but sometimes my ankles get a little cold and there have been a few times where I have been walking Luna in my leggings and because I have like mesh in a lot of my leggings, I have a bit of a breeze happening. So I feel like these will be something that I actually get use out of. I feel like I could also wear them with my LL Bean boots, uh, like over jeans for some fashion if I felt like it. So happy to have a wearable item like this that isn't just a pair of mittens. We also got an ornament. It says, some things do not have to be said. Love speaks for itself. I do like these wooden ornaments. Uh, we have, I think, all of the ones that Owl Crate has come out with. Ben <laughs> was trying to like sort through when we were doing our Christmas tree this year, getting rid of some ornaments, but I was not having it. I was definitely gonna fight for all of these because I just think that the patterns on them are really beautiful. So happy to have that one as well. We also have the enamel pin for this month, which says these violent delights have violent ends. I am fairly certain that is a Shakespeare quote might be wrong, but probs not because I'm an English teacher. We also have a from Fiction Bath Company Ice and Shadows Peppermint Woods Hand Cream. Ooh, a hand cream would be a good thing to have right now. Ooh, this is super yummy. It has like a pine soap, it's like a soap pine. Scent. I really, really like that. I definitely am in the need for hand creams. I will say it's kind of becoming a boom in my collection that I've acquired a few recently, but really happy to have this and very excited to have a body product that isn't a bath product. I feel like in Owl Crate boxes, we tend to get candles and like bath products a lot. So it's nice to have something a little bit different, which I'm excited for. We also have in here an Owl Crate exclusive 300 piece Elias and Layla, or Lila, I don't know how to pronounce those names, puzzles. You guys know if you've been following me on Instagram, I have been on a real like puzzle kick ever since we had the spring quarantine, namely Harry Potter puzzles, but I did do an Owl Crate puzzle in there as well. So happy to have another one that I can do. I like that it's 300 pieces. I do like puzzles that are 300 to 750, that's kind of my like wheelhouse of expertise. Once we get above that, the puzzle gets a little bit more challenging than I want it to be. Okay, next up we have this rolling pin that has like a textured pattern on it. I don't really know how I would use this. If you have any suggestions, like do I use this with cookies? Is that a thing that I would do? Do I use it for something else? I don't really know. So if you have any ideas or expertise on this, let me know, but it's, it's definitely different. I'm happy to see some different types of products being featured in this particular box. And the final thing that we have is the book for the month, which is called These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. It looks like this. Ooh, ooh, look at that. That's really pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and hear the premise, shall we? It says the year is 1926 and Shanghai hums the tune of debauchery. A blood feud between two gangs runs the streets red, numbing the city to its chaos. At the heart of it all is 18 year old Juliet Kai, a former flapper girl who has returned to begin her duties as a proud heir of the Scarlet Gang, a network of criminals far above the law. Their only rivals in power are the white flowers who have fought the Scarlets for generations. And behind every move is their heir, Roma Montagov, who was Juliet's first love until he betrayed her. 
But when gangsters on both sides start clawing their own throats out, the people start to whisper of a contagion, a madness, of a monster in the shadows. As the deaths stack up, Juliet and Roma must set their guns aside and work together, no matter their personal grudges. For if they cannot contain this mayhem, then there will be no city left for either to rule. In this spectacular reimagining of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet debut, author Chloe Gong brings readers on a heart-stopping journey of violence, passion, and star-crossed fates. Mm. Okay, here's what I'm just gonna say. We've talked about this before in a previous Owl Crate. I am not the biggest fan of retellings or reimaginings because I just feel like there is such a world out there in literature that is yet to be explored or you can really go so many different places with literary worlds that I prefer and I think have a better appreciation for authors who, who do that versus taking something that already exists and retelling it. I don't know, maybe that's an unpopular opinion. I'm not sure, but I just, I just would prefer if Owl Crate didn't put these types of books in here, especially because also, ready for this, I don't like Romeo and Juliet. I have a choice to teach that play or teach another one, and I choose Julius Caesar over Romeo and Juliet. I just, it's not my favorite play of Shakespeare's. It's like on the very bottom of choices for me. Um, this one does sound, at least like I'll say, the premise does sound a bit more interesting than Romeo and Juliet at its face value. But if the two of them fall in love, I feel like I would really dislike it in the end. I don't know. I don't know, just what I'm saying. It definitely taints the box for me because any of the other retelling books we've gotten, I've either like given away or they've sat on my shelf untouched, don't inspire me. So I don't know, we'll definitely see about this, but I had I just prefer if they didn't put these kinds of books in here because I just prefer I just prefer authors who come up with something entirely new. But that's just me. That's just my two cents. I'd be curious to know your thoughts on that topic because I feel like there are some people who get really excited about like Pride and Prejudice retellings and that's just not me. Okay, so there we have it. Some highs, some lows. I definitely like that we had some different types of products in here from other boxes I've had in the past, but kind of a womp womp that the book, which is the whole purpose of the box, doesn't really compel me as much as like some other types of books I've gotten from Owl Crate boxes previously. So I don't know, I'm not super thrilled with it. I'm glad it's kind of like a bonus box. And I do still have my limited edition Winter Wishes box to also you know unpack and play with. So that is it for me. I would like to know your thoughts on this particular box and I'll talk to you in my next video.